Now, you have met a company called Atomy. I'm saying that Atomy is like a ladder that lets you rise in status, a rise in class. All we need to do is to climb this ladder called Atomy. We have to decide how far we want to climb. Do you know what the biggest reason for not being successful is? About that, somebody said, it's because we don't think about being successful. The biggest reason we can't be rich is because we don't think about being rich. Here are some statistics. From the age of zero, usually until the age of 30, we study. What do we usually do between the ages of 30 and 60? We work. And we're going to spend our later years until we are in our 90s. There are some ugly rumors circulating these days that we may live up to 120. Is it a blessing? or a curse to lead a sick body and live to 120 without money. Yes, this could be a disaster for later years. Now, after preparing for 30 years and working for 30 years, only 1% became successful and rich. 4% of people barely managed to solve their financial problems. Although not rich, they could live without financial aid. And 15% of people died. Then, 10% of people are earning a day's income and living on a daily basis with it. The other 70% are said to be living their later years without work or money. Most of them are people who have been preparing for 30 years, studying and working hard until late at night to live well into their own ways for 30 years. But why is it that only 1% become successful? The person who noticed this was a man named Carnegie. Carnegie was born into a poor family but became rich. But he saw that many people in the world lived so poor. So he asked himself, if I were to be born again as a child of a poor family, would I be successful? He thought that he would have succeeded if he tried again, even if he tried five times or even ten times. But why do so many people fail to succeed? It's not that the reason lies elsewhere. They just don't know the laws of success, not knowing how to be successful. So he chose a young man because he had to tell other people about the laws of success and the method of success. A young man named Napoleon Hill took the assignments Carnegie gave. For 20 years, he compiled them and laid the foundations for the laws of success, the method of success, the so-called theology of success, which is a highly prevailing concept in America. Any law, however, doesn't just become the laws of success because someone makes it haphazardly. It's like the laws of nature. The laws of nature. Water flows from high places to lower places, and the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, in which these are already decided. A man named Stephen Covey expressed this as the principle of true north. The north has already been decided. Now lift your finger. Please point where the north is. Where is north? North! What do we need? A compass? I took out a compass and used it. It tells me this is north. Then this direction is the north. The north is already decided before we even use a compass. 
So the laws of success is not something that anyone can make up, as the path to success has already been set. Certain direction leads to success, even if anyone tries to decide oneself which direction leads to success or not. So the laws of success were not first invented by Carnegie, nor by Han Gil Park. It was already defined. So if we follow it, we'd succeed, and if we don't follow it, we wouldn't succeed. So some people put it this way, as the law of farming. The law of farming is the same as the laws of nature. So if we want to succeed in farming, we have to farm according to the laws of nature. All farmers follow the laws of nature, so we have to follow the law. So, let's learn the laws of success from how a farmer farms their land. What's the first thing a farmer does? Many people say they need to prepare seeds, rice fields, farm funds, farmers, farming tools, etc. But the first thing a farmer does is what and how much to reap. This is decided in the very first place. What I'm talking about is, if we decide to collect 10 bags of rice, then 10 bags of rice it is. What? Rice. How much? 10 bags. That's why we make decisions with this goal in our heads. In business administration, this is called MBO. MBO, Management by Objectives. If you become a manager or deputy manager in a large corporation, you will be sent and educated in a program called the Management by Objectives, ran by Korean Standard Association or Korea SMEs and Startup Agency. We call it an Objectives Management, but a more accurate expression is management by objectives. This MBO is actually being used extensively for things like management of states and others. It's all used by companies, right? What do you do at the end of the year? We're making a budget for next year. Countries do it as well, don't they? Of course. In the previous year, they plan in advance what kind of work will be carried out next year, what it would be like, what the welfare policy would be like, and how it will be like. Five-year plan, 10-year plan, long-term plan, all these plans, they create a vision and lead towards them. However, unexpectedly, this MBO does not apply well to our personal lives. This management by objectives. We need to picture how we will succeed in our heads first. Now, we finally found this, atomy, as a means to become successful and wealthy. Because we've met means, we just need to set a goal of how far we're going to succeed. But what is that goal? It's to achieve the goal of a balanced life. Why? A person has a flesh, a spirit, a soul, and is surrounded by the surrounding environment. What this flesh wants is the desire to live a long and prosperous life in good health. In short, it has the desire to live well. Spirit wants to live according to conscience, wants to live forever. So this is the concept of time. Humans and animals are fundamentally different, fundamentally. It's not like the monkey evolved and became a human. The fundamental difference is that they aren't spiritual, those animals. So animals have a conscience or not? No. 
a dog just bit the neighbor's leg, and the dog feels a pity at night, thinking, I should have restrained the urge. Have you seen any of them? There's no such thing. Why? Animals have no conscience and no concept of time. So the past and the future are symmetrical, the same. And they have no concept of getting old. Have you ever seen an old dog thinking, oh, now my life is coming to an end? They don't have a single idea. When they're full, they just go to sleep, old or not. Then they just die like that. But people always have a longing for a thing called an eternity. In the Bible, it says, he gave me a heart to long for eternity. So we're picturing this eternal world. We're ultimately satisfied when we are loved by our creator and when we love the creator. No matter how much money we have, how healthy we are, and how long we live, it's all in vain. No matter how much we learn, we can't fill our inner body. So in the book of Ecclesiastes, written by King Solomon, it says, Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. What good is it for him, as his people are working hard under the sun? So, like an ocean that flows in to satisfy some of our needs, but doesn't fill it, we can't be satisfied. In the end, we need to be filled with the love of the Creator. Then our soul lives with emotions. So all the joys and sorrows are the part that corresponds to our soul. So we have a desire to live with a sense of serenity. A person who has lived with anger all his life, a person who has lived in a depressed anger, can't be called a success, right? And a person who lived resenting, hating, and jealous of others can never be called a successful person. There are some rich people who are insanely fussy, right? Those are people that can't trust anyone else, right? That life can never be called a successful life. That's why we need to be able to live while being respected by others and exchanging really positive feelings for each other. And we have an intellectual desire, a desire to learn about the unknown world, a desire to learn. These things should be satisfied. Now we want to contribute to the surrounding environment, such as natural environment and social environment. So if we don't bring something positive into our society or nature, we will have a grudge when we die. Oh, I was such a useless person. Although we save a lot of money and become successful, rich, if we don't give or contribute, we may fall into regrets. Like, I've been a very useless person. That's why we say that a contributing life, satisfying these four things evenly, is a balanced life. A balanced life. Now, our goal is to have a balanced life. Now, here's the high-level goal. The reality we live in right now is at the bottom. Then there's a tool called Atomy, a ladder that lets us climb up here. With this tool, we get to this point. In the end, what we want to achieve is that our lives must be balanced. So, we have to be a person who can give something, like love, and also be respected. If we really love our wives and husbands, tell your husband, Honey, You've really sacrificed your whole life for our family by working early in the morning until late at night. Honey, stop working now. I'm going to lead our family from now on. Get some rest. In order to have a really troubled husband rest well, we need to live well. There's a song someone hates the most. Dad, cheer up, we're here. He hates that song the most. Why? He's on the verge of collapsing because he's been working hard to live and the lyric tells him to 
stand up again. Don't do that. Instead, Dad, rest well, we'll do it all. How good would this be? Singing to be strong again, seeing that the father and the husband who's about to collapse, even if they get stronger, this is how they look like. If we really love someone, we should live well. We have to learn to live well. The reason why you are sitting here late today is that there are people who are really good, so we are here until late at night with the desire to learn and live well. And I also had a really difficult time, so I've had a desire to live well. Me. After 17 years of being a salaried worker, I opened an internet department store. It was quite ahead of the time. So I made a huge internet department store that handled about 100,000 kinds of products. I started the business in 1999 and opened it in 2000, but it was way ahead of the time, as people weren't familiar with computers. How do you buy mackerel? Go on the internet. I don't know how to use the computer. And since it was a time when PCs weren't yet distributed in every house and optical cables were just being laid at the time, this is why we had to wait. So now I was having a problem. So I went bankrupt. Went to a 500,000 won rent room and lived there for three years. But... Living there, I actually looked down on people who couldn't live well. Why? In this day and age, if anyone has one's mind set straight, why can't anyone live well? They've lost their minds, I'd always thought. But when the company went bankrupt, if the company goes bankrupt, the owner may seriously get ill due to stress. Cirrhosis of the liver became very severe, the diabetes level spiked to 4 to 500, and suddenly the body was just starting to collapse. That's why my doctor friend said that he couldn't treat me, so I went to a big hospital. That friend would have most likely said he'd do it, but he said so. So, I used to think that my illness was very serious. And, at that time, the family was financially collapsed, and the doctors didn't let me work. In that situation, I felt incompetent, and started understanding those who couldn't live well. I felt that as human beings, things just couldn't work out as we wanted. So, I've been in such a desperate situation. So, I really hope that every one of you who's here can live well. Among the people who came here, there may be cases whose really old parents are deeply ill. There may be some disabled children in the house. And there are cases where the husband lost his job and did something wrong and is on the verge of sitting on the street in debt. Yes, there may be cases where they can't pay for their children's tuition. Though you are all sitting here right now, I think there are a lot of untold stories. Really, the more people like that, the more I think it would be great if, through this tool called Atomy, everyone could become rich and it would be great if it could become an opportunity to live a life of giving to others and helping people in need. So, we need to set a goal in life that satisfies all four of them. Then, what you need to picture in your head is that you have to draw a picture of you living a balanced life, of living well, loving learning, and contributing as a movie. To do that, we need a scenario. We need a scenario to make a movie, right? I have a very simple form to explain to you how to write this scenario, and then you just need to fill in the blanks and you are done. Every month, write a new one. Even high-ranking people write it every month. In this way, those who have achieved it, write it as completed. If there is a goal that you want to achieve, write it all over again.
I'll explain how to write it. The form looks like this, and here it's circled like this. But these four things have to go in here evenly at least once. Why? Because it's a balanced life, so it needs to go at least once. Health, it needs to be checked, right? Then if we want to live in abundance, we need to be able to solve our food, clothing, and shelter. Then after food and clothing problems have been solved, usually there's a shelter problem. After that, if we want to live well, we have to have a car, we have to be able to travel a little bit, and so on. For example, a life of serving and being of service. Also, for example, if we want to live well, it's good to have cash, right? Wouldn't it be nice? Is it good or bad if we have 100 million won in our bank accounts that we can spend as we like without talking to our husbands? Sure, yes. If you like it, write it here. If 100 million won isn't enough, you have to have 500 million won. Write it. Some people write down paying their debts. We need to sort out our debts first, right? Some people write down offerings. Well, anyway, we're going to write these four things down here at least once. As we write these all down, write down the goal we really, really want here. The goal we want. That goal has to be an absolute goal. But an absolute goal are the ones we'd go crazy if it could be achieved. The ones we'd really work crazy if we could make it happen. That we can actually fall down and die trying. That's an absolute goal. Now, if we write it down like that, no matter how small, at least 30 million won is written down. 20 million won a month if one's being frugal. But if we want to have a little margin, we need to have around 50 million won. And if you're in your 20s now, even if you only receive 20 million won, it's quite a lot if you receive it for the rest of your life. But if you're in your 60s and 70s, then you don't have much time left, so you have to get a lot. So, such an amount is written down. But, I couldn't even make 2 million won a month properly. What kind of nonsense is it to make 20, 30 million won? There are about five people who think like this right now. I see them. Now, people have a lot of misconceptions about money. We can't make money because we don't understand money. What kind of misunderstandings do people have the most? They think making big money is much harder than making less. They think it's much harder to make a lot of money. But in reality, it's not true. Now, there are people who make 3 million won a month. There are people who make 1 million won a month. There are people who make 20 million won a month. There are people who make 50 million won a month. Who's making money the hardest way? The person who earns 1 million won is earning money the most difficult way. Then the person with 3 million. People who make 20 million won make easy money. People who make 50 million won a month say it's easy to make money. People who make 500 million a month say that money is everywhere. So it doesn't necessarily mean that it's hard to make a lot of money. Just because someone earns 10 times more doesn't mean it's 10 times harder. There's a reason. The reason is this. Most people become content just earning between 3 to 7 million won. So this is the most competitive place. I mean, all the smartest and smartest guys flock to this place. So this is a very, very difficult position. So strategically, we can't go to a place where this kind of competition is fierce. On the contrary, there are very few people who want to earn 20 million won or 50 million won, so there are few competitors in that kind of place, so making money becomes rather easy. And there are many cases like this. When we were learning at school, we were taught that there are expenses, and if we have our income, we should spend it according to our income, right? Right? 
but people who live like this are poor people like that. So people who spend according to their income, people who use household ledgers, are all poor people, ordinary people. Would the rich use the household ledgers or not? They don't. Very few of the rich keep a household ledger. So if we live according to our income and save money, we will never become rich. So what should we do? First, determine our expenses. I will live by spending 20 million won a month. I will become a person who spends 50 million won. I need 50 million won. And what we are looking for is finding a source of income stream. If we can make 50 million won, start it. If not, don't do it. We just won't do it. I mean, those people would become rich. Those people. And we should never save money, especially when we don't have money. If we save when we have no money, we will never be able to save money. But fools save money when they don't have money. Then when they have money, they spend it all at once. When should we save money? When we have a lot of money, we should save it. When we don't have money, we have to spend a lot. We have to spend everything we have, because it's not much, it's not even a few pennies. I once lived in a rented room for three years because my business went bankrupt. A month's rent was 500,000 won, but it was cold in winter when we lived there then. Honey, turn up the heat. Usually it's cold if I used 100,000 won worth of gas. Since the house was small, it became warm even if I spent an extra 50,000 won. So 150,000 won, but usually, we use heating only for five months in a year, right? So how much did I save per year? I saved 50,000 won each month, so 250,000 won, right? Multiplying three years, I saved 750,000 won. I trembled and saved 750,000 won for three years. Even now, just thinking about this makes me feel upset. Do you know? What my wife said to me, even though I told her that we don't save money when we don't have money, and that we should turn up the heat, she said, because I thought that way, we ended up like this. Even if a man says the right words, a man who doesn't make money doesn't make sense. Even if they can't make money, women, what's right is right. If men don't earn money, all the women are just crushing, they're mean. I have a lot of grudges towards women. Not many women, but because of one woman. Saving 750,000 won made me tremble for three years. Saving money when we don't have money makes sense or not. It doesn't. When you don't have money, just spend whatever you have. Keep your house warm and eat whatever you want. Whatever it is, just use it all up. When do you save? When the money comes in. That's when you save. When 30 million won comes in and 50 million won comes in, then save 10 million won and 20 million won a month. Then you will save hundreds of millions of won. But if you save 2 million won or 3 million won, you wouldn't even have enough money to spend. So not knowing much about money, you wouldn't be rich. But the rich don't talk about the principle of money. This is a good rich man talking now. Now, we have to think as if we're going to be rich. So you have to write a life scenario like this, that you'll be successful and a wonderful movie called My Life Needs to Run in Your Head, a wonderful movie. So, what kind of house I live in, what kind of car I drive, how I live by giving to my relatives, and how I live by giving to my friends. These images should all be in our head. It has to be vividly drawn, like a movie. As for me, I like cars. So I was once a network marketing operator. And I even went to the highest level. I mean, I'd worked a lot as a business operator in the field. 
At that time, as I became a network marketing operator, I set a goal to drive a Mercedes-Benz 500. When I had any spare time, I went to the Mercedes-Benz dealership, sat down, asked questions, took the catalog, and studied everything. And one evening, I was laying down to sleep, but I missed this Mercedes so much, I couldn't sleep. So, looking at it like this, looking at it like that, with a Benz on my mind, I came back home and slept with a very happy mood. So looking at it like this, looking at it like that, with a Benz in my head, like this, I came back home and slept in a very happy mood. It's all so vivid. One day, I slammed the car door shut. Benz doesn't make a bang sound, but it sounds pong. Ben's has a different door closing sound. It just sticks to it. But one day, I shut the door and I heard, pong. It felt very light. I thought, what happened? When I came back to my senses, I was still inside a Hyundai Sonata. So, I drove the Sonata and shut the door as if I was driving a Mercedes. So, we need to go a bit crazy like this. So if there's a house you really want to live in, there are a lot of apartment show houses these days. Just go and live there. So get to know what it's like, how you're going to change the wallpaper, the curtains, and how you're going to arrange the furniture. You just have to go there many times if you try to put it all in your head. What we want has to be vivid. If it could only happen, we would work like crazy. We're about to lose our mind, even if we don't sleep at night. It has to be like this to achieve the goal. So is it enough to just set such a goal? The answer is yes. It's all scientifically proven. Now, our body has a characteristic that cannot differentiate between the real and the virtual world. When you wake up in the morning, do you have times when your body is very tired? Are there times when your body feels heavy like wet cotton? If only 30 million won a month comes into our account, will our body feel heavy like wet cotton or light like a feather when we wake up in the morning? Even if you don't ask, it'll be as light as a feather. So our immune system will be boosted. Our body would change. And the way we treat people will change. So, the way to be successful is to vividly imagine the money coming in before it actually comes in. Our bodies change just by imagining them. So what happens in reality and what we imagine, the change in our bodies are the same. Now let's do an experiment. I will put sweet and sour pomegranate juice in your mouth, a handful of pomegranates. You chew the pomegranate with your molars. Sweet and sour pomegranate juice spreads in your mouth. Now, what happened in your mouth? You're salivating. If anyone can't salivate, raise your hand, go to the hospital quickly. Whether we eat actual pomegranates or just imagine eating them, a normal person's body reacts the same. We utilize it just like that. So we vividly imagine that 50 million won comes into our bank account. And with that money, the house we really want to live in. We draw a picture of ourselves living in 50 Pyong, 70 Pyong, and 100 Pyong sized house and ride in a luxury car. It's not like we're driving ourselves, but we're sitting in the back seat. When we vividly imagine that we can do it, our facial expressions change, our health status changes, our tone of voice changes, and our eyes change. That power can make you all successful. So first of all, self-confidence. Self-confidence is important. With self-confidence, I will definitely succeed. So if we run a movie in our head, this life scenario, the life we want to live, it will be just like that movie. As long as the movie runs vividly in our head, it will happen. Academically, 
It's called self-fulfilling prophecies. Prophesize yourself enough to be self-fulfilling. So thinking that we can live well is the first important thing for success. So let me show you the models the seniors used. We're going to write like this now. I need you to keep writing and rewriting. After that, you only need to fill out one more form, and this is about when we will achieve a certain rank. When to reach Sharon Rose Master, Star Master 10 million won, Royal Master 50 million won, until when? Most of the people who said they couldn't sleep at night and wrote it well were successful. Now, I'm going to end this evening's lecture by really wishing you all to be successful and to achieve the balanced life you desire. You've all worked hard until late hour. Thank you.